Hello, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christina. Today I'm making my go-to mashed potato recipe that also includes parsnips. Now I'm gonna add my salt to my water. My potatoes and parsnips are already cut up. And now I'm going to put them in my boiling water. I like to put my potatoes in the water to keep them from turning brown while I'm cutting everything up and getting it ready. I have my garlic, it's all peeled, and that goes in with the potatoes as well. And then I want to add fresh rosemary. However, I'm gonna place it in this little uh, cheesecloth bag to help my herb go inside without splitting up in the pan. That way, when it's all done, I will just easily pull, pull it out of the bag. All right, so I'm gonna let this get to a boil again. Once it's at a boil, I will turn the heat down and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Your potatoes and parsnips will be done when you take a knife and pierce it and have the knife go in easily. The potatoes are at a nice boil again, and I'm just going to stir them a little bit to make sure that the salt I put in there is dissolved throughout. And now I'm going to lower my heat, and before I cover it, I'm taking a piece of foil, and I'm going to just fold it so that I can place it in my pan to keep it from folding completely. So I just kind of slide it in like, like that. Okay, so now it's time to check and see their doneness. Nice. My potatoes and my parsnips are ready. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my little bag that um, housed the rosemary. And next I'll remove the potatoes. We're going to remove everything, including the, the garlic that we threw in there earlier. So while my vegetables are still warm, I'm going to mash them. Okay, so I have them mashed enough for me. I don't mind them when they have a, a few lumps in them. They don't have to be completely perfect. Next, I'm going to add the sour cream and blend this together. And also add my butter. Season it with salt and pepper. And lastly, I'm going to add milk. The recipe calls for a quarter cup I just pour it in a little bit at a time, like I'm doing here. When reheating these potatoes, it's a good idea to add some milk at that time to kind of bring them back to life. I'm happy with my consistency, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Put a little pat of butter, a little more salt and pepper, and lastly, fresh rosemary ready for the table. As you can see, my potatoes are all done and ready for the table, but first a quick little taste test. Mm. Perfect every time. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks. See you next time.